We've just revealed our top 40 tax dodgers, the biggest tax cheats in Australia, unveiled today. What have we got? We've added, like the Oscars, we've added some new awards this year. We have a Lifetime Achievement Award, which went actually to Rupert Murdoch. 16 billion in income over the six years of tax office data. Um, no tax paid, not one red cent in tax. Even though 246 million in taxable income. Maybe they just thought it was non-taxable income, but in any case, 16 billion, zero tax. Wouldn't it be great to have 16 billion and not pay one cent in tax? The winner, once again, three years in a row, is the US oil giant, ExxonMobil. Exxon, which drills gas and oil out of Australia's seabeds. Um, 56 billion, not one cent in taxable profit, not one cent paid in tax in six years. And given what's happening to fossil fuels, they may never, ever pay tax in Australia. Same deal with Chevron. Un-Australian of the Year. We have a new category, a new award this year, Un-Australian of the Year. That goes to Lend Lease. Lend Lease, which gets billions of dollars in government contracts, doing government work, like building the Sydney, rebuilding the Sydney Football Stadium that it walked away from. Lend Lease. Listen to these numbers. $53 billion, $53,000 million over six years. We now have a good sample size. The ATO data extends over that time. We do a bit of tweaking and spreadsheeting and do some, uh, some metrics around it to work out who we think the most egregious tax cheats are. And Lendlease, Un-Australian of the Year. Now, we've got a Rookie of the Year on the, on the list this year. It didn't make the top 40, but it gets special accolades, special mention, because it's the NBN Co. for the first time, with its $6.7 billion in income and no tax. We didn't expect much tax because any, you've got to, make a, you've got to, you've got to uh, make a profit before you pay tax. And of course, the NBN ranking Australia, you know, Australia ranking 66th in the world behind Kenya. Uh, it's no wonder. Uh, there's not much of a profit there to be taxed. We also have Best Director, the Best Director category this year. It's got to be one of four, hasn't it, really? It's got to be PwC, EY, KPMG or Deloitte. These are the global orchestrators of tax cheatery and chicanery and skullduggery all around the world. The big four, audit, consultancy and tax advisory firms. They get Best Director this year for doing what they do best organising um, tax avoidance scams to rip off governments around the world. Best makeup and hairstyling goes to BPIC, the boys from Brookfield, the paper mache origami specialists who shuffle paper and charge paper a lot of money. Um, very big, some of the world's leading usurers. It's an old fashioned term, but a good one. They get it because their BPIC again uh, paid no tax on billions in income, and they managed incredibly to float a coal float, as coal is basically th is dying around the world. Institutions are turning away from it in droves. You don't need it as an energy source anymore, and they managed to sell this like selling ice to the Eskimos. Selling coal, they sold coal, a coal asset to. Also, the Queensland government. The gullible old Queensland government took a cornerstone stake in this float. Day boo, day one, the shares tanked. Funny that. Finally, we had a little new category called Best Original Story, just like the Oscars, a Best Original Story category. And this went to Uber, who've just settled a, uh, a case in the, in the federal court, wanting to shut it down, no doubt. These shysters, Uber, have never paid any tax in Australia till last year when finally they must have been forced into paying a teeny, teeny weensy bet. They continue, and this is where the best story comes in, to claim that they don't have employees. They don't have contractors either. They have partners. And so that poor little fellow you see on the moped driving across the Sydney Harbour Bridge in the rain, 
delivering a pizza for ten dollars risking his life no insurance no work cover no nothing because he's a partner of uber that's how they get away with part of their corporate structure uh, and therefore their failure in social responsibility their failure to contribute properly to the society in which they operate uber takes 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 and gives back virtually nothing. Go and have a look at the top 40, michaelwest.com.au. Tell us what you think in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you soon.